Martin, coming to you from the Sheldon Concert Hall in St. Louis, Missouri, one of my favorite places and favorite stages, favorite pianos to play anywhere. And I'm so excited today to be talking about groove and swing, which are two of my favorite things to interact with this music that we call jazz. Um, now, grooving and swinging, there's a lot of different ways to think about it, but this should be really the most important, the most relaxed, the most natural part of your playing. So it's very important that we get a great feel for this um, because it permeates everything we do as jazz musicians, every tempo, every different type of groove. So we want to have a good feel. But the good news is it's really not that hard. Um, the big key is to listen, listen to a lot of great recordings, listen to a lot of great musicians, and then do everything that you can in your practice routine to really let that just seep right into your playing all the time. Okay? So there's groove, there's swing, and there's time. Talk about time first. That's the ability to be able to keep a good, constant, steady time. Um, the best thing you can do with that is to practice with a metronome. Get it going on two and four will help you to go into that kind of groove of what we call swing. So the tempo I was just playing is like one, two, one, two, three, four. Kind of here I'm tapping my foot just like I'm snapping my fingers one two three four as opposed to feeling it like one two three four one two three four so when we practice with the metronome we want to get it going on two and four just to give us that kind of subtle push into that swing groove one two three Tempo that you practice, if you're practicing one, two, one, two, three, four, you get that metronome going one, two, one, two, three. Okay, so that's going to really help you with your time. Now, in terms of the swing groove, um, this is something that you can really just pick up by feel, just like you learn how to speak a language and maybe a different accent or something. You don't want to put too much thought into it. You want to learn what it sounds like. So if I'm playing an eighth note line back at the original tempo. That's swinging it. So I'm putting that specific kind of rhythmic feel to it. If I was a classical player playing a bunch of um, eighth, note line, uh, uh, eighth note line like that, it might be. Have that kind of a feel. In jazz with swing it's I'm putting the syncopation at the right places. Now we don't want to have to get into a thing of saying you know trying to notate or figure out precisely what those rhythmic variations are. The best thing to do is to really listen to a lot of players. So I like I'll give you a, a real simple line and you can just imitate this. One, two, three, four. Again. Now you'll notice I'm starting it one, two, three, four, one. So I'm starting on the end of one, or, or uh, the second half of the beat of one. So that's even not that important outside of the theory of it. Once you get the sound of it, you just want to know what it sounds like. And I'm also syncopating in between there, right? So I'm going, instead of just continuing with the eighth notes would be fine too. I'm putting those breaks with rests in between, giving them the accent. So even that, if you, if you try to analyze it that much, it's probably overanalyzing it. Just go for that same feel. One, two, three, four. Uh. That's swing. That's groove. That's, it's, it's as simple as that. So just feel that initial eighth note um, rest. One, two, three, four. Rest. Think about a drummer, the way they'd fill in between. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's swing. Listen a lot, check out Charlie Parker, McCoy Tyner, John Coltrane, Miles Davis, I can tell you, you know all the, you know all the guys. Listen to it, 
swing, groove, time, have fun with it. Thank you very much. I'm Peter Martin.